All right, so the second round of the Battlefield 5 Alpha has released, and I got the chance to play it. Yes, it just released today, and it's pretty much the same exact build that we got last time. There's a few different guns uh, performance that have changed. The STG and the Bryn are noticeably different. The STG has a lot more recoil now than... The Bryn, on the other hand, has gotten a buff, and it's a lot better now, as far as I can tell. Other than that, nothing really has changed in the game. It performs about the same, even. I did notice I got a little bit of a performance increase since last time. I don't know if they've changed a couple of settings around, or I've just changed my graphical settings since then, but... It does still lag whenever you spawn in, and it lags whenever you have the when you're down, and it also lags sometimes randomly in in the game. And DirectX 12 is just as crappy as ever. I don't know why. I mean, maybe I need to get a, a an AMD graphics card. Maybe that would do it. But I don't know. Vega is probably better than DirectX 12. If really. Uh, anyways. I played the Black Ops 4 beta as well, and I made a video of the performance of that game. It's just not very good at all. I don't understand what's with these new games and not getting the frames per second I want, even on lowest settings. It just it boggles my mind. I don't know if my CPU is broken or something. I don't know. I, I genuinely want to know why I'm getting these poor performance issues. And I get that it's an alpha. I do. I really do. And it, the performance Finish. isn't going to be as solid as, for lack of a better term, the, the, than, uh, than the full game release. But it shouldn't be to where, to where I need an i9 or something like that to get a decent frame rate. I know my expectations for it are a bit high. I, I know, I know. It's not going to be a fully polished game. I get that. Yeah, I just it's just kind of... I guess I'm picky when it comes to that. I'd rather have a low settings that look crappy and a really high refresh rate than something like 4K 60 FPS. I'd, I'd rather have like 2K 150-ish somewhere around there. And I can usually in my games get that, but... It's just Battlefield has recently seemed to, and even Battlefield 4 has been like that for me. I don't, I don't know why. It seems that they optimize it for looking good, other than uh, rather than performing well. I mean, I get most people have a 60 hertz monitor that won't go past 60, and they're fine with having 70 FPS when it comes to their games and an average CPU and an average graphics card. I'm more of the enthusiast though and I'd like if they optimized it better for uh, the higher end CPUs and GPUs. I saw Jack Frag's video and his CPU is a bit overkill for, he, he played the Black Ops 4 beta, I saw that and his GPU, uh, or CPU is the i9 something or other i don't keep up with the the names of cpus but whatever it's better than my 8700k i know that for sure but he still only got like 150 fps maximum dips down to 80 sometimes and he said that was a good good performance like what i don't get it i don't get it this is really why Fortnite has taken off so well, because it optimizes for performance rather than looking like a realistic game. They go for the more cartoony look, which I think is an aesthetic thing, but still, it's, the, it's made for everyone. Every thing can run Fortnite. Every device can run Fortnite, whether it's a mobile device, a console, a freaking phone that from 1998 pro could probably run it well you know what the one of the flip phones that runs like uh, snake or something uh, anyways 
that's a bad joke. The point is, I really wish that developers would focus their game on performance. I don't mind. I, I get that some people like the 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 high resolution looking like a pristine real life ultra realistic image, but that's not realistic at all for a performance. And I would rather basically have a crappy looking game that runs smoothly than one that looks nice and performs like crap. Also, I have noticed that games recently tend to not go well with streaming services like OBS or XSplit. They perform very poorly when you're running them at the same time. For instance, OBS, when you try to run a game, and this I, this might be a Windows 10 issue instead of a game issue, but still, they should find a way to fix that like ASAP. The If you have a refresh rate on your second monitor or something, and you run OBS on that second monitor, and it's a lower refresh rate than the main monitor, then OBS will cause your game to stutter like crazy. It's ridiculous. I don't like it makes me upset and sad and disappointed okay to recap the alpha is not changed since the last build there is a performance increase but not by much the gunplay has changed but not by much and everything that was annoying in the first build was st is still there in the second build and also planes haven't changed much they, they still crash a lot I don't I forgot to mention that they, they they don't they don't perform very well <laughs> and I keep dying because I go out of bounds for no reason and then it just immediately explodes my plane really dumb 